How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Gold Rush How To. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to do a full cleanup of a tier 3 or higher system. So, you have been running dirt through your plant and everything is at 100% and now it is time for the exciting bit, which is actually extracting the gold. So, first things first, grab a pickup. And, I mean, this system can be revised as much as you want to revise it to make it work for you. You can move your equipment around to make this work for you a bit better. So, what I do is I grab my hog pan mats and I just dump them in the back of the pickup. Because um, they're nice and close by. I will use the crates for the moss mats that are further up. So, that is nice and easy right there. Uh, the next thing we want to do is grab our duplex jig buckets. So we're going to have four of them, two on each duplex jig. So I'm going to keep them one side. We'll do those two there. And we'll go another one there. And another one there. So we know that's the four duplex jigs don't worry if they fall over um it doesn't actually spill out but if it bothers you then you can set them up right it's really just up to you right next thing we are going to do is we are going to grab our crate and might turn my flashlight on here and um keep the crate nice and close by so what we're going to do is take our grates off and the duplex jig is a good place to put them down uh, easy to get them back. Uh, that's not good if you're jumping through that gap. It's all good. It's fine. Just annoying. So take those off. Beautiful. Now grab your crate. If you can reach it. There we go. And stick your crate up on the duplex jig. Like so. There we go. Right. So we have got 12 of these mats. Six on each side, and just try and space them out because they will stand on top of each other and fall out of the crate, which is slightly annoying, but it's fine. Uh, nearly made that jump. I suppose better to jump over it than in front of it because you don't need to run around. So that is three more to go. Uh, this one. A little bit light in color usually means there's not too much in there um, to find. But that is all of your mats. One more thing to do is go up here and clean out these grates up here. So you want to hit three on your keyboard. And then oh, if you're on a console, uh, just cycle through. And... You should already have a bucket up here. Just click on these grates and you'll scoop them out. And it'll take two scoops per grate and there's four grates. And that'll give you a nice bucket of pretty good, pretty good dirt. I generally keep these buckets separate so I sort of know where they come from. And I can judge by the different buckets how good of a clean out it is. So... It's really up to you. If you mix them up, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's going to be the last one in there. So we'll grab the bucket. We'll keep this one separate. And from here on, we will head up to our cleanup area. All right, we are up at the cleanout area. And we want to get all of this unloaded. So we're going to take our first crate and drop it down there. And we'll take our buckets. And we'll put our first bucket over there. We want to keep all of these separate so we sort of know what was in them or, or where they came from. So we'll do four of them over there. And I generally go from sort of the worst buckets to the best, uh, but it doesn't really matter. So there we go. We've got five buckets right over there. And next thing we want to do is take these things and... Well, things. Miner's moss. And stick them into your gold nuggetator if you've got one. Otherwise, rinse them in a bucket of water. And we're going to start our generator. Start our pump. And get this baby going. 
Alright, so that's gonna all dump into that bucket. It'll wash it out. And we'll stick the rest in there. And while that's happening, we can move all of these a little bit closer. And these are great because um, the smaller ones, you can actually put two of them next to each other in the Nuggetators. So, yeah, you don't have to do it multiple times. There we go. Nuggetator has finished. Uh, we'll just finish up offloading these. Uh, it's fine. Stop that. Throw those out. You just keep them sort of close by. Uh, just kind of out of the way. And we'll put the other six in. So these ones... Let's say they look pretty good. We had just one, I think. Um, which was a little bit light in color. So I'm not 100% sure if that really makes a difference. But to me it feels like it does. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, last one. A little bit difficult to get. Oh, there goes our entire crate. I don't want that to happen. We'll put that over there. Turn that on. Crate's a little bit sticky for some reason. Put these ones over here. And... Good. Right, 20%. Done. Beautiful. Right. Same process. Take all of these out. You can just throw them back in the crate if you want. Really up to you. And the smaller ones, as I say, you can put two next to each other. So that is all good. And I mean, you can sort of do this process as you like. Uh, you can move all of this equipment closer to your mine. You can have um, sets of these mats so you can have a bunch of mats and then do like one big cleanup every week or so um, it's really up to you how you want to do it um, I tend to do a clean out just every time uh, the mats are full I just keep one set of mats but you really could have multiple sets uh, as many as you want really and just stockpile them and then do, like I say, one massive big clean out. Which could be pretty fun. And there we go. There's normally 1% left in a bucket. So that's why I always keep two buckets. Right, so that is going to be a really good gold. That is, that is the business end of the gold. So we're going to take that and stick that over there. And next thing we want to do is we're going to start up our magnetite separator and our wave table. And we're going to start with the first bucket. Throw that in there. And we can put that one side. Alright, so that's going to separate the magnetite out into that bucket. And we are interested in that bucket over there. Beautiful. So we'll put that there. Actually, we can turn that off. You can throw it directly in if you want to. And... We'll do one more bucket before we turn the wave table on. So we can just sort of keep the whole process going without stopping. I generally prefer to do that is just um, run all of the buckets through the magnetite separator and then throw them all into the wave table. But for the sake of just making this as quick as possible, um, we're going to throw them in. Right. So that's the first one going in. And the second one will fit with that. So that's great. And on the right hand side, top right hand side, you can see our gold going up. So that is fantastic. Uh, we'll leave that there for now because that's still a little bit full. Uh, don't throw a bucket in there if it's over 50% because, uh, well, you'll, you'll lose your gold. So there we go. That's dropped down. Throw another bucket in there. And we're already over 100 ounces now. Um, I'm not sure where we started. I think 80 something. So going up pretty good. Uh, what I like about running the way I'm running at the moment. With um, the wavetable not running empty at all. It will give you a big number at the end. Instead of giving you a number per bucket, sometimes it's handy to know what you are getting per bucket in certain areas. Um, but it's really up to you. And we'll throw this one 
into there. Fill it up. Beautiful. And also you can judge by the magnetite that you're getting out uh, per bucket. And we'll throw that in there as well. Beautiful. So this is the money bucket. This is this is the good one. So we're going to throw that in there. Put that bucket back. Stop that. So the magnetite, you can take that bucket, buy a magnetite trailer, throw that into the magnetite trailer, and you can either sell it or use it to upgrade the uh, perks at the goldsmith or blacksmith, uh, whatever you want to call them. And that's down to 50%, and we're on 134, 135 ounces at the moment. That is actually pretty dang good. So, yeah, like I say, we'll get a nice big round number. Uh, well, not necessarily a round number, but we'll get a nice big total number um, for our gold on the left-hand side, top left-hand side of the screen as soon as that runs through. And we'll know what we got for that entire clean-out. So, 67.59 ounces of gold. That we got for that clean out so again you can run that per bucket through the wavetable to see what you're getting in different areas and from here on you're basically just going to reset take all of your buckets back so you're going to need five buckets to take back there four for the duplex jigs and one for the grates at the top put all of your mats back into place and remember to take these mats out of here and put them into place and um yeah that should be all good so i can see there's 17 percent magnetite in that bucket so that is not bad at all but that is how you do a cleanup so i hope you found that helpful if you did please make sure to smash that like button and uh yeah thanks for watching so that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna see you all next time <music>